I'm here with Doc Rotten. This is Dave Dreher from Horror News Radio, and we are going to talk Annabelle creation. Doc, how was Annabelle created? Tell me. <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, this is a, um, a film made for Doc Rotten. <laughs> um, just for it, you doc yeah th this was right in my wheelhouse uh this is uh I, I as you know it is the sequel to annabelle and i guess it's the fourth film in the conjuring universe as they're promoting it uh they've announced three more so we've got we'll have seven before too long this this film uh does for annabelle what ouija 2 did for ouija it, it's pretty amazing how much better this film is than than the uh, the the first film. It is nothing but pure scares. It's really really good. Uh, David uh, F. Uh, Sandberg uh, directed this. He's the one that did Lights Out last year uh, that many of us loved. Um, and it uh, it has similar traits to that because it could be called Jump Scare the Movie too. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, a phrase coined by one of our uh, teammates, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to make Tom as happy as could be. <laughs> uh, it's it has the flair of a, a James Wan film. Uh, you can tell that Sandberg is a student of James Wan. There's a number of shots that feel very much in uh, in that style. Uh, we, uh, for example, we get uh, the tour of the house. You know, like James Wan would do with like a one shot tour as the family. In this case, a, a, a bunch of orphans are roaming through the house trying to discover it's uh, the lay of the land, and, and that always works out really well. And there's um, a lot of really nice shots <clears throat> for the uh, the uh, the entirety of the film, but he he just handles these scares uh, tremendously well. Uh, it, it's 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 actually quite remarkable how well he handles <laughs> the scares he he it's it, he handles them with a great deal of patience uh which fills the film with a dread as you're just waiting for the scare and they all pay off it is quite a feat it is quite amazing and it is definitely going to be a film i talk about again at the end of the year when we talk about our our favorites of 2017 that is high praise indeed. I got to ask you just real quickly: Do they do a nice job of tying it into the universe, though? Uh, they do a really. <laughs> it's really tight how well it, it is woven into the universe. Uh, there are a couple of um, little Easter eggs bouncing in there, uh, and there are two stingers to stick around for. Oh, two stingers! Yes, uh, um, it's always important to know because sometimes you see the first one, you get up and you take off. Yeah, there's there's one at the very end after post credits, and uh, I will say that, that while that stinger is very simple, uh, it it made my skin crawl. Nice. Oh, now I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, Doc, give me your favorite scene. Uh, my favorite scene. Uh, that's that's a really fun thing to do here because it could be a number of scenes. There are. Uh, a much like Conjuring Two, there's more than one bad guy. Um, you know, even though it is one kind of overarching uh antagonist that's driving all the bad guys, all the scary monsters. Uh, we do get you know you get Annabelle and you get uh the thing a uh, scarecrow and you get uh the thing that's kind of driving both of them and. Uh, when that thing is revealed that's driving both of them, it is, um, is incredibly frightening. And the one scene is when the father, um, that is, so there's one thing I didn't do was a synopsis. There's, uh, you basically, there's, uh, a family, um, that, uh, it's a, it's a toy maker and he's making these, uh, Annabelle dolls. He's made a hundred Annabelle dolls. And uh, he has a tragic accident and loses his daughter. And they try to bring the daughter back. And uh, when it comes back, it comes into the doll, but it's not, turns out not to be the daughter. You know, it's very similar in that way, but it's the doll that he's made. And they defeat this thing and they decide that their penance is to take in orphans. 
to try to make somebody else's life better. But what they end up doing is, is just opening up the doors again. And when he figures out that what's happening, um, he faces this creature and what happens to him is in, incredibly frightening. And it's, it, what's interesting about it and why it's my favorite scene is it starts out visually scary. And then it pulls away from him and focuses on another element. Um, if you listen to the title, you can probably figure out what it focuses on. But then it, <laughs> it shifts just to sound design. And the sound design is so frightening. It, uh, it's a really well done film in that respect. Terrific. So after all this praise, I'm assuming we're going to have a hefty score for the film. Oh, definitely. It is a, a 4.5. Uh, I, I, I'm tempted to give it more, but it does have a few flaws. Um, not many, not many, mostly, uh, mostly just sequelitis kind of problems and being forced into uh, a universe. Uh, and, and, you know, most of them work really smoothly, a um, couple more jarring, but, uh, yeah. So 4.5, it's, uh, can't wait to see it again. Oh my, it's going to be a two time viewer for you. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Absolutely. So, Doc, where are we going to be able to hear more about this movie? Where else might we be discussing it soon? <laughs> well, the good thing is, is that this is our topic for the next episode of uh, Horror News Radio. So uh, by the time you see this, Dave and Santos and Thomas and maybe a few guests, uh, we'll be gathering uh, early in the week next week and uh, discussing this film. And we'll dive into all the uh, spoilers and uh, all the all the scares and the details. And we'll see if Thomas <laughs> can come on uh, board or not. I can't wait to hear his thoughts on this. It's going to be a good one. And I also want to remind everybody to please make sure to check out gruesomemagazine.com. You'll find Doc and me and Thomas and Santos and our whole crew over there talking horror seven days a week. Doc, thanks for letting me know about Annabelle Creation. All right. Good night. Good night. <laughs>